Hello everyone, welcome to Code Arena and today we are going to make Mercedes logo with HTML and CSS. So first I will made boilerplate with HTML and then I will give the title to Mercedes logo. Okay, now we will link to styles.css and after that we will study that how Mercedes logo actually looks like. So this is the Mercedes logo and first we are having a bold circle and then inside it we are having these three triangles. So this is the first one, this is the second one and this is the third one. So let me explain you by one thing. So first we will have a screenshot of it and after that we will choose this blue pen or let's say red pen. So we are having this triangle this triangle and this triangle okay so we are having one two and three we are having three triangles in it so we will do like this so first I will make a div called circle and inside this div I will make three triangles div so it will be triangle one and then all shift down so we will be having triangle 2 and triangle 3. Okay. Now let's save it and let's go live. Okay. Now we will go to styles.css and we will style the circle. So dot circle. After targeting this circle, we will set the width to let's say 200 pixels. And the height would be also the same. 200 pixels and then we will set the border to let's say 15 pixels solid black and then the border radius function the border radius would be 50 percent let's save this okay we are having a thick circle now we will do the main thing which is display flex so what is display flex it will set the triangles in a line and then we will do justify content would be also center and then align items would be also center so all the triangles would be in the middle of the circle okay after that we will do margin top let's do margin top for 150 pixels and margin left would be let's say 450 pixels because it's the average one okay so we can do for 130 pixels i think so okay now it's perfect okay now we will target the triangle one and the main thing which is to make this thin triangle so firstly we will set the width to zero now you might wondering why i am setting the width and height to be zero so basically if i will not set the width and height to be zero so it will be so wide and we don't want we want a thin triangle and we will make it so first we will study that how this triangle looks so basically we are having this left side and this right side and we are having this bottom so this all color will be applied by the border bottom okay so first we will set the border left to 25 pixels solid transparent why we are doing this if i will not set transparent then it will apply white color which we don't want right so we will do now border right would be also the same 25 pixels solid transparent now the main thing which is border bottom would be let's say 150 pixels solid black now this will help the triangle to be there okay then we are having a kind of same triangle and what i think that we should increase the size of the circle let's say 250 pixels and the height will be also same let's check okay i think now it's perfect now we need to move this triangle upwards 
so for doing that first we will make this circle parent by doing position relative and we will make this triangle child by doing position absolute so we can control this triangle anywhere in this circle so we need to move upwards so let's say we will we can have 100 pixels bottom i think we should move some more so let's say 115 pixels i think now it's kind of perfect okay then now we will target the triangle 2 let's triangle triangle 2 now we will do the same by doing width would be 0 height would be also 0 and then we are having let's see the triangle 2 so basically this triangle 2 is having a top a bottom and a right so this is the right one see okay so let's do it so after setting the width and height to be 0 first we will do border top border top would be let's say 20 pixels solid transparent okay so after border top we are having this right so which is the main part so let's do border right would be let's say 150 pixels as we have done upwards 150 pixels solid black and then lastly we will do border bottom would be also 20 pixels solid transparent let's save this and see the result okay so we are having like this so i think we should increase the border bottom let's say 30 pixels i think now it's perfect now we need to rotate this so we need to make like this and we are having like this so by rotate function we will easily rotate it rotate let's say 30 degree save this okay we are rotating like this but we need to rotate in the opposite direction so we will do minus 30 degree and let's see okay then we are perfectly done okay after rotating we will make this triangle to also the child of the circle so let's say from the right side we can do 100 pixels I think we should increase so let's say one zero three pixels okay I think we should also increase some more one zero five would be okay now we will do bottom would be now we will do bottom would be let's say 60 pixels let's try this I think it looks perfectly cool so we are ready but this point is getting out so let's say 103 was well okay now it's perfect now we will do this third triangle so first we will target this third triangle here triangle 3 okay again we will set the width to zero and the height will be also zero height would be also zero okay so the triangle three is like the top part the bottom part and we are having the left part so let's do it left part is the main so first let's say border top would be the same as the above one see we are having this 20 pixels so we will do 20 pixels solid transparent and then we will do instead of writing border right we will write border left because it's the main one let's do 150 pixels solid black and then the border bottom would be also same border bottom 30 pixels solid transparent solid transparent let's save this and see the result okay now we will rotate this i think we should do 30 degree as we have done above 
okay this is perfect now we will set the position absolute and then it's the child of the circle now we can do left would be 100 pixels okay i think we should do 110 pixels okay from the bottom part from the bottom part we can do 50 pixels let's try or we can do 60 pixels because we need to move upwards i think now it's perfect but this point is getting out of the circle so i think instead of doing 150 pixels we can have 140 pixels okay then we are done with our mercedes logo and congratulations and now we will write the text so first i will make this h1 tag and inside it i will write mercedes benz logo made by amina you can write your name obviously now let's put a small heart let's save this and let's see the result okay we are having like this now let's style this text let's do font family let's do font family for the second one this is my all-time favorite let's try okay now we will set the margin left to let's say 450 pixels let's try this or we can have some more let's say uh, 600 pixels let's try for 600 pixels okay it's perfect now it's time to change the color so let's say blue would work blue and we can change the shades shade of it this one would match i think so okay then we are done with our mercedes logo and if you like it share it with your friends and thanks for watching